What separates the great from the average? The great are willing to believe in something more than their eyes tell them. Believe that they can make a difference to the world. They're willing to take the risks they need to take to achieve what they want to achieve. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one purchase of a shop, inherit staff both stale and unwilling, and never lose your call or blow your top. If you stay cool as reps pedal and bluster, with sixty minutes worth of smiles feigned, to you will go the spoils, to Lynn the duster, and, which is more, success will be ingrained. It can be difficult when making a documentary to find people willing to be filmed. In this case they were queuing up to tell the world of their affection for Clara Corrine. On this, November the 24th, 2010, the day of her 60th birthday. After spending the first two days of her life in Egypt, the artist formerly known as Artemis moved between Greece, various parts of Africa and various parts of Europe before settling on the Isle of Wight. Here's what a few people think of her contributions since then. Hello Mum. <laughs> Happy birthday. 60 years old now, half a century. <laughs> Not looking a day over 41. <laughs> oh, it's my birthday too, in case you didn't know. And uh, I hope we'll have a great day and a great dinner. See you soon. Happy birthday, mother, on your 60th. Um, yeah, good luck. I'll, go down the tree. I'll make another video on your 90th. <laughs> Happy birthday, Claire. Have a nice time, yeah? Yeah, did you know that in 1998, Clara Corrine invented the word remedy? I did not know that. That's a remedy in itself. It's a beautiful one. It's a, it's a story and a half. What, what are your main uh, memories of the lady? Wow. She's always been kind, taking me in like a stray dog, feeding me when my friend doesn't, you know. She's just an all-round decent girl. Okay. Is it when she was a little girl, was there anything funny that happened that she did? No, really. Always walk. Never walk straight <laughs> like that. Always <laughs> walk with the top. Everywhere we go, walk like that. <laughs> Everybody said to me, come ballerina, am I going to work? Damn, another loss. What a loser I've been. Clara Green was never a loser. She was a winner in life and at the gambling circuit. See, while Charles Kareem pumped at least £40 of his money into horse racing a day, she would slowly hide these pound coins away and, and the dwindling amounts that he lost were proof that she'd become the perfect wife. Okay, yeah, Clara's a great, great French cook. I remember just bringing her to the fantastic meal. Really good tennis coach, amazing. And a, a really good swimmer. And a really good singer-songwriter as well. I have to thank Clara very much for bringing the boys up beautifully and uh, always making sure that they had clean clothes on and very neat tennis rackets pressed and ready to go with a good pair of slashingers. <laughs> Excellent. Happy birthday, Clara. Take care. Hi. Um, just in Hiroshima at the minute in Japan. Just filming this to say I uh, wish you a happy 60th birthday. Hope you're having a good time. I wish I was there tonight and um, I'm really looking forward to celebrating your birthday with you all together uh, as soon as possible. Happy birthday. Congratulations on getting to 60. You're just uh, halfway now to your target age. What separates the great from the mediocre? The great are willing to fail in order to succeed. That's why you're great. You've been a great mum, a great role model for so many people, and just a great person to know. That's why so many people spoke up, even though I only gave them a day's notice to make the video. Have an amazing birthday. You deserve it.